Hi guys, I'm Joe the Multiboxer, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Wildstar with IS Boxer. So first of all, in the Interspace menu, make sure you have Wildstar in the game list. If you do not, then use Add Game to put it there. Drag the Wildstar icon straight from your desktop into the Add Game window, and click OK. Now in the Interspace menu, you should have Wildstar with a Wildstar default profile. Now back in IS Boxer, in the Wizards menu, select Quick Setup Wizard. Which game would you like to set up? Wildstar. Uh, which characters will form this team? Now, for Wildstar, right now you do not need to enter your actual character names. Um, some features may come along later where that could be helpful, but unless you need to keep them separate for different abilities and such, uh, you can just uh, do WS1, WS2, and so on. Um, just short for Wildstar 1 and Wildstar 2. Uh, click Next. Choose a name for your team, uh, something simple that you will recognize as your team that you're setting up right now. Um, I'm setting up two Wildstar accounts, so WS Duo, uh, for me, that will work out. Click Next. Here's the window layout uh, style page. Um, it's going to pre-generate a bunch of different options based on the number of characters you're playing and your monitors. So pick something that looks good to you and uh, click Next. Now, if you want to change this later on, you can use the window layout wizard or if you want to drag things around in your window layout to say a different screen or whatnot, um, then you can go into the window layout over here and select the layout and then in the bottom left select regions to get to the regions panel to drag things around. So click next after you've picked something uh, that looks good to you for starters. And next is the CPU strategy page. There's also a wizard for this in the, C in the uh, wizards menu. It's called the CPU strategy wizard. Uh, so if you want to change this around later, you can do that. Um, now, the foreground 60 frame rate and 30 uh, background is going to be good by default. Um, you can adjust that if you want. Um, but the important thing here for right now is going to be the CPU strategy drop down box at the bottom. So it may select round robin balancing for you by default. Um, and you may find that the select all CPUs with every window option gives you better overall performance. And so you can play around with that, and whichever one works best for you, go ahead and use it. Click Next. This is the final page of the wizard, and there's uh, kind of a lot here compared to the other pages. Um, the configuration style, leave it as MMO standard for starters, or later on, uh, you might graduate to the MMO Pro style later on, but for now, keep it standard. Um, so here we have a bunch of hotkeys that we can configure that you would press to activate things for multiboxing. And under Game Key Bindings, these are things that correspond to the uh, key bindings screen within the game. Uh, so it has a default hotkey for interactive target, and that is F. And everything else on this page you can leave alone. The targeting table is automatically filled in for you. Um, that's the uh, which button each guy might have to press in order to target the others in your party. Um, so you don't need a follow or assist target key binding in this game. Um, IS Boxer will take care of that for you for now. Uh, so back in the hotkeys tab, uh, let's go through the hotkeys that we will uh, press to activate these things. So follow me, you'll press Alt-F. If you want to change that, go ahead and click. Um, assist me, by default, is Alt-A. Interact with target, I'm going to set that to what I use in World of Warcraft, um, but you can set it to whichever key you like, um, Alt-J. And that will cause the, uh, the other windows to try to interact with um, the, what I have targeted in my window. So toggle broadcasting mode. Broadcasting mode is uh, going to enable mouse broadcasting and keyboard broadcasting. So anything you do or anything you... Uh, do with the mouse or keyboard, um, that's going to be broadcast to the other windows to make everybody do the same thing at the same time. Now, most of the time, you're not going to be using that mode while you play the game. So, uh, for this game, you also do not want to enable broadcasting mode starts on in all windows. Um, you can if you, you really want, but uh, don't do that for now. So, toggle key maps and menu hotkeys. Um, at some point in time, you may need to disable the automatic broadcasting of 1 through equals. Um, say to a, type in the chat window or enter your password or something uh, that is other than what they're hotkeyed to do in IS Boxer. So you use this hotkey, Shift Alt M by default, uh, to turn those off and be able to type in the chat window or type in your password or whatever else. And if you want to set up a hotkey to go to the next window, um, just rotate between however many windows you have with one uh, hotkey, you can set that here. And um, if you have an Alt GR key, that you use to type in, say, the at symbol or other special characters on your keyboard, um, you'll want to make sure that this box is checked. Uh, and that'll make sure that IS Boxer doesn't set up any default hotkeys uh, that would 
uh, conflict with your ability to, do, to use Alt-GR. I don't, so I'm going to uncheck that now. Uh, down here, this is the last option here. Uh, automatic broadcasting of 1 through equals. That's your standard hotkey or action bar hotkeys. Um, for Wildstar, you'll only actually have 8, 1 through 8, um, and that's okay. If you don't want this to be broadcast by default, uncheck this box. Otherwise, you have the option of a visible, kind of a transparent overlay for the action bar. This will allow you to click those abilities or press the hotkeys. Um, and if you only want the hotkeys, you don't want that visible menu, um, you can go ahead and select the invisible option if you like. Um, I'm going to use the menu for the video and show you how to set that all up. So uh, that's it for the quick setup wizard. Go ahead and click finish. Now I'm going to show you another option here in the character set. Um, mute background, background game window audio and unmute foreground game window audio. Um, if you enable this, you'll only hear the sound from one window at a time. And uh, you can also have the option of going into the game and disabling the music. Uh, if you have that music on and you hear the, win the uh, audio from all the game windows, the music's going to be in a different spot in the different windows. And it might get kind of annoying. Um, so keep that in mind. You can use this option. You can change the sound options in the game. Um, I'm going to use this option for the demo. Uh, the last thing I'll show you before I get into the game is the menu, the standard menu, which the overlay for the action bar. By default, um, as you saw in the wizard, it's set up for one through equals, which is kind of a standard for the MMO genre. Um, so under the standard menu, go into the menu templates and click standard. And here you see it's got 12 buttons by default. So we'll just go ahead and set that to 8. And the grid, rows, and columns, set that to 8 as well, 1 by 8. And uh, the button margin and button size may not exactly match uh, the default here. So I'm going to use 3, 3, and 51 by 51. So it's going to have three pixels between each of the buttons. And the size of each of the buttons is going to be 51 by 51. And that matched up. Whoops. That matched up with um, the action bar in the game the last time I uh, had one in the game. Right now my characters are uh, just level 1 and they have not unlocked the action bar yet. So um, I'll get into the game and I won't be able to uh, exactly match that up with my action bar yet. So that's it for configuration. Um, you can go up into File and select Save. Um, you can also keep it as a different file name. You save as. Um, that might help you keep separate uh, profiles for different games if you like, or whatever reason you have for keeping a different profile, um, or even a backup of your of your profile. So then go into the file menu and select Export All to Inner Space, and that'll set you up for launching. Um, down in the Inner Space menu, find IS Boxer Character Sets and select your team there. And what's going to happen is each of the launchers will come up one at a time. Um, it's pretty fast. Go ahead and click Play. And then the first game window pops up. Once that first window is up and in position, then the next launcher comes up. Click play. And there we go. So now, uh, the first time you log into your team, um, you're going to see this Welcome to IS Box 41 message. And it explains a little bit about the see through green squares that you see right here. Um, and those are the standard menu that we talked about. And you can move it, it says, by pressing shift Control alt g So I'll do that now, and I'll just move it out of the way um, down here for now. I'm, I don't have the action bar in front of me to position it correctly. Um, and then once uh, you position it over your action bar and you want to save it so that uh, it comes up in the same spot next time around, um, use the Save All Menu Positions button here in the IS Boxer Control Panel. Control shift alt g hides that again. And let's close this since we've... Uh, after you understand what that says to you, then you can close it and uh, ignore it, and it'll never come up again. So uh, enter your email address. You can use the Remember Email Address feature. Um, it'll store that separately for game windows. So you're only going to enter your information one time, um, but the, you'll always have to enter your password. So I'll go ahead and enter in my email addresses. And again, um, while you're entering your email address and password, you may need to uh, disable key maps. That's this icon here. Um, and again, Shift-Alt-M if you want to use the hotkey on the keyboard. Um, after you enter your email address, go ahead and enter your password. Um, you may be able to use repeater, the broadcasting mode, with Shift-Alt-R to do that at the same time in all the windows, depending on um, if your passwords are the same, of course. Um, that's not necessarily recommended, but... Uh, 
it's convenient. So enter your passwords and log in. And uh, here are my characters that I've already made. I'm going to go ahead and enter the game with these. Now once you're getting into the game, you're going to want to turn broadcasting mode back off and turn key maps on. That's the other button here. And I'm going to move my uh, toggles menu straight up into the center of the screen, sync it there, and I'll go ahead and save my menu positions here. And I'll, I'll adjust the standard menu again later. Um, so the first thing you'll want to do, you'll have to get your guys into a, uh, a party in the game. Um, slash invite, and then the name. Um, you invited your other character to the party. And now in the other window, whoops, that's the right name. Do you want to join? Yes. So now my guys are in a party. Um, they're not in the same instance in the area that they're in. So in order to get into the same instance, the guy that just joined the party has a synced group button that will put him in the right instance. So now both of my guys are here in the same place, and so they can interact and target each other. And uh, here we go. So back on my leader, I'm going to try out the follow system. Um, again, the hotkey by default is Alt-F. And you can see my other guy followed. I'll run this guy over here a little bit. Still following, good. And now uh, I'll try it from the other window. So both windows are following correctly. And let's do an assist now. Assist is where you target something. Say this guy here, sick exile. And now if I press Alt A, my other window should pick up the target. And I can see down here that he did. He, he selected the same target. Now I can do the same thing from the other window. Just like with follow, either window you're in, uh, click something, press Alt A, and in the other window you should see that the target changed. If I looked over there, there it is with the correct target. So that'll enable me to uh, walk up to something that I want to kill. I can press Alt-A in order to pick up the same target and start pressing the hotkeys 1 through 8 um, in order to uh, use my attacks and uh, kill that target. So we also talked about interact with target. Um, I'll see if I can find some way that's interactable. I don't really know that much about the tutorial area. Um, but uh, my hotkey for that was Alt J. So if you find something, you should be able to uh, use your interact hotkey to uh, make everybody interact with that target. Let's see. That's that's who I need to talk to right there. Getting some tutorials. I can close this and all the windows at the same time with broadcasting mode. Um, turn that off. And let's try uh, assist. Walk up to them a little better and Alt J to interact. So they both interacted, and the the game gave me this little menu thing in both of the windows. And to interact with that again, use broadcasting mode. And here we go. Click through whatever you need to do. And that's basically how that works out. So other than that, I'll check out the action bars screen and see if this matches up. Um, this is where you configure your action bars, I guess, and um, control shift alt g Let's see if this matches up with the buttons here. Yeah, that's pretty close. That should match up with action bars once I get them unlocked in the game. Um, as you can see, I don't have them at the bottom, so uh, there's nothing much to do. Um, but I can move that menu back out of the way for now. So, I mean, that's basically how to get started playing the game. Um, I don't know where to go in this tutorial area to actually kill something, or I would show you. Um, I might have to get another level or continue with these quests in order to, to find that. So that's how you get started. Um, follow and assist both work from any window. Um, you don't have to really configure uh, any in-game key bindings. Um, it's actually handled with copy and paste, because um, you can paste into the chat window here. And so IS Boxer is just able to paste in slash follow or slash assist, and that'll make your guys uh, follow or assist whoever they have targeted. So that's that's 
getting started with Wildstar. Um, if you have any problems, any questions, come on down to the IS Boxer forum or the IS Boxer chat room, and we'll get you squared away. Thanks, guys. Have fun multiboxing Wildstar with IS Boxer.